Welcome back to English 4.0, the radio show. Let's go! Advanced. All right, welcome back. Welcome to day two, class number two, advanced students. Thank you so much for tuning in. We've made it to day two. Very good. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's program, and I hope that you're following along on television and in your student guide at home. So today we'll be following what will become a bit more of a typical format for the program. As you can see in your student manual, each class after the first one starts with a review of the previous day. So this will be an opportunity to review any problems you may have. Now, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to write to us through the website, bauganingles.com, using your account. And I'll be keeping an eye, keeping an eye, I'm going to introduce my guest here in a moment, but I'm just going to ask him, what does that mean, to keep an eye out for something? To keep an eye out. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to keep an eye out for something, or to keep. Or I'm, I'm going to. I'm going to keep an eye on the website. What does that mean? Mm, mm, gradually to take a look at the website. Well, yeah, occasionally or. or to keep uh, up well, with wait, the, I'm going to be monitoring. I'm yeah. going to be mon. I'm going to keep an eye on the website, and I can keep an eye out for something specific. I'm watching for something specific, like a question. Oh boy, a question! I keep my. I'm going to keep an eye out. For questions that appear on the website, and then I'm going to discuss the interesting questions on this program. So again, I'd like you to I'd like to remind you to use all the tools that you have to make the most of this course. Make sure you're paying attention to all the programs at Aprend English TV and following the content carefully with your student guide. Okay, I have a student. Well, I have a, a guest, a student guest with me, like I did in the first class. I'm here once again. With Mario, Mario, thanks for coming in again. Thank you. Well, uh, yeah, it's good, good to have you. And we're going to start Mario with a little review of what we saw yesterday. Are you ready? Okay. I am good. Yes, I am okay. Good, good. And at home, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Let's get going. Let's go. Negative questions. Okay. She's not with me, Mario. Why isn't she with me? Why isn't she with me? Why isn't she with me? I don't know. I, that's a good question, isn't it? I, <laughs> I, I wish I knew. I'm not hungry. Why aren't you hungry? Why aren't? Yeah, why, why aren't? Why aren't you hungry? Again, one syllable. Remember the pronunciation, aren't. One syllable, aren't. Why aren't you hungry? Again. Why aren't you hungry? Why aren't you hungry? Why aren't you hungry? Good. He's not a friend of mine. Why isn't he a friend of yours? Good. Why isn't he a friend of yours? All right. Okay, good. Now, we, we also saw, after that, we saw negative questions. Uh, f negative questions in the past, sorry. He wasn't trying his hardest. Why wasn't he trying his hardest? Yeah, well, again, with the internet. Why wasn't why he wasn't, trying? Why wasn't he trying his hardest? Right. Hardest. Right. Sorry. Now, why wasn't he trying his hardest? Now, at home, I hope you're trying your hardest. I'm why, sure. why wasn't he trying his hardest? Okay. She wasn't a member of the team. Why wasn't she a member of the team? Good. They weren't very helpful. Why weren't they very helpful? Good. Very good. And at, so at home, they weren't very helpful. Why weren't they very helpful? Very good. We also saw yesterday, so, adjective, that. I'm so hungry that I could eat a horse, we say. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm so hungry that I could eat a horse. Do you believe me, Mario? Yes, I do. All right. So, I'm, I'm so hungry that I can't wait until dinner. He's so big that he can't fit into the car. They're so good that they never lose. Are Real Madrid so good this year that they may never lose? Real Madrid this year is so good that they are not going to lose any match. Any any matches. Any matches. So they're so good that they they okay. aren't going to lose. Some people consider teams uh, yeah. one a singular team, Real Madrid, it 
you know, Real Madrid is winning because the team is winning. But then if you think of Real Madrid as a collection of players, well, Raul and Casillas and all the guys, they, they're they winning. What are they doing? They're, oh, they're winning or they're losing. Some people tend to treat it as a plural and other others as a singular, as one team. Um, I don't know if it's a question of country or, or what, but some people treat it one way and others treat it another. Okay, we're going to... Um, Go now. Before we look at today's content, we're going to go to the expression of the day. Expression of the day. All right. Yes. Expression of the day. Que yo sepa. As far as I know. As far as I know. Easy, right, Mario? Yes. Too is. easy? Mm-hmm. Is it too easy? No. We are warming up. We're warming up. We're <laughs> only in class two. We got a lot of classes ahead of us, right? As far as I know, this is not a very difficult expression, is it? No, it is it is it a piece of cake? Pan pan comido? A piece of cake. Piece of cake? It would be. All right. Que yo sepa no han hecho nada todavía. How do you say that? No han hecho nada. That's right. <laughs> as far as I know, they haven't done anything yet. Okay, okay. As far as I know... Most of our listeners are Spanish, as far as I know. I suppose some of them aren't, though. Maybe we have some Mexican listeners. Maybe we have some South American from listeners. South America. Probably my mother. My mother's listening. Really? She's a, she's a, she's Canadian, and she she I'm sure she tunes in to, <laughs> to our li- best regards to, li- to listen for to my guy's show. mother. That's right. <laughs> Hi, mom. How are you? Yeah. Okay. Now, so we're moving on now to um, to the next point here. Um, we're just going to we're, we're going to take a look at a very similar structure to one that we saw yesterday, uh, but now practicing with such. Such. Okay. It was such a long movie that I didn't watch it all. It was such a long movie that I didn't watch it all. He's such a nice person that everyone likes him. Okay. So subject plus verb plus such or such a. Adjective, noun, that. So it's such a big book that I can't read it. Okay? So we can try a few examples here. Uh, Let's start with a few examples as they appear in your student guide, and then we'll spice it up a little bit with some translation. All right, Mario? Okay. Are you ready? So the test was very difficult. I couldn't pass it. It was such a difficult test. That I couldn't pass it. Yes, it was such a difficult test that I couldn't pass it. Now, we have test, and I'll also mention the words exam and quiz. What's the difference between a test and an exam and a quiz, Mario? I'm, I'm not sure. An exam, maybe it's from the university or from... Well, it's, it's a question of... How, how serious it is and how important it is, okay? So Good. an exam, if someone says, I have an exam tomorrow, oh boy, like a final exam. Exams are very serious. They're worth a lot more. They're, they're very important. A test is maybe when you're in school, maybe you have several tests, maybe you have a test every month. And it's, it's important, but it's not as important as the exam. In Spanish, we call it uh, examen sorpresa. Okay, well, <laughs> well, here we have quiz. We have quizzes, which are even less than a test. A quiz. So I remember when I was in school, my teacher would say, well, we have a surprise quiz. We'd call it a pop quiz. Pop quiz. Pop. Oh, we're going to pop a quiz. What? Quiz? No, you didn't tell me about that. Well, it's a pop quiz. Oh, it's man. <laughs> and they would say, don't worry, it's only worth maybe 10% of your grade, whereas the t- tests were worth much more, and then the exam was the most important thing. So there you have exam versus test versus quiz, okay? So now back to this structure with such. The job was very difficult. I couldn't do it. It was such a difficult job that I couldn't do it. Okay. Her accent was very strong. I couldn't understand her. It was such a a strong accent that I couldn't understand her. Yeah, yeah. It was such a strong accent, or she had such a strong accent that I couldn't understand her, right? Yeah. Okay. So at home, following along, out loud, always at home, the man was very big. He couldn't get into the car. At home, he was such a big man that 
He couldn't get into the car. Pau Gasol. Pau Gasol, for example. Yeah, Pau Gasol. Who, who else? Super tall. Who else? Think of a tall person. Shaq. Shaq, absolutely. <laughs> Imagine Shaq trying to get into one of those smart cars. Impossible. Forget about it. She was beautiful. I couldn't stop looking at her. She was beautiful. I couldn't stop looking at her. Ah, so she was such a beautiful girl yeah. that I couldn't, I couldn't stop looking at her. Yeah, a beautiful girl or woman that I couldn't stop looking at her. Okay, so here, be careful with such a, such a. We link them. We always link these together. She was such a. So I want, I want you to repeat that. Repeat that with me now. Such a. She was such a beautiful woman that I couldn't stop looking at her. Say that again, Mario. She was such a. Nice. She was such a beautiful woman that I couldn't I couldn't stop looking at her. Yeah, looking. I couldn't stop looking, looking at, at her. her. Good. Such a. Good. She was such a beautiful woman that I couldn't stop looking at her. Okay. We were really busy. We couldn't go to the party. We were really busy. Yeah. We couldn't go to the party. Yeah. Or or uh, if I said our day was really busy, yeah. we couldn't go to the party. We had such a busy day yeah. that we couldn't go to the party. Yeah, we had such a busy day, we couldn't go to the party. Now, really, this is an interesting, this is a very native word. When we say really in the sense of very, I'm really hungry. I never hear, I, I rarely hear my students say that. My students would always say, Kyle, I'm very hungry, right? Have you, have you, no, have you noticed yes. that, Mario? yes. Uh, oh. but, but let's call this our sort of our native uh, word of the day. Uh, really, in the sense of where we would use very, oh, I'm really thirsty. I'm really busy. I'm a little bit hungry, but I'm not really hungry. You emphasize right? more. Really, yeah. I'm, man, I'm really hungry. I'm really hungry, okay? Good. So tr try to use that one. Sometimes instead of very, we can use really, okay? So if I say he was really nervous, he couldn't sleep. He was... He was really nervous with such a... Yeah, with, yeah, with such a... He was such a... He was such a nervous person that he couldn't sleep. Yeah, yeah. She is really friendly. Everybody wants to talk to her. She's such a, re she's such a friendly woman okay. that everyone wants to talk to her. Yeah. Wants to talk to her. Wants to talk to her. She's such a friendly woman that everyone wants to talk to her. All right. Okay, let's try now a little bit of translation. All right, are you ready at home? Are you ready at home? Translation using Sacha. Okay? Fue una película tan mala que me fui. Mario? It was such a bad movie that I left. Good, it was such a bad movie that I left. Okay, a little bit faster. Era un coche tan caro que no lo compré. It was such an expensive car. That I didn't bought. That I, di I didn't buy. I didn't buy it. Repeat. I didn't buy it. Good. Es un informe tan largo que nadie lo va a leer. It's such a long report that nobody is going to read it. That nobody is going to read it. All right. Vocabulary of the day. Did you hear that? That's right. It's time to take a quick pause for the vocabulary of the day. The vocabulary of the day. All right, Mario. Okay. Papeleo. Red tape. Red tape. Yeah. So red tape, it's like bureaucracy. Yes. These things we have to do, these procedures we Long have to cues. do. Yeah, bureaucracy. <laughs> Low lines. The red tape. I'll tell you, I hate red tape. Do you, do you, do you, do you like it or do you hate it? I or think, so, or I somewhere think, in between? I think nobody likes, <laughs> likes red tape. <laughs> sure, sure. Clarificar. To clarify. To clarify. To clarify. To right. Clarify. To clarify. Clarificar. Dejar para más tarde. Mm, phrasal verb or to procrastinate. One word. No, nice. Yeah, this guy knows his stuff. Phrasal verb or to procrastinate. To What's a phrasal off. verb then? Yeah, to put it off. To put something off or to procrastinate. Are you a procrastinator, Mario? No. No, I'm, no, I'm not. Okay. Mutualmente. Mutually. Mutually. And good pronunciation. Chew, chew, chew. Mutually. It's like Portugal. Mixture. Mature. Right? Mutually. 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 Tortilla. Omelette. Omelette. Nice. Okay. Okay. Now let's get back in action here and practice both the structures that we've seen. The so that and the such a that structure. Let's practice both of them together. Mixing them. Okay. Are you ready? I am. At home, are you ready? 
Okay, good, good. I'll give you one, and you give me the other one that's also valid. Okay, let's start with an example that's in your student guide. The movie was so boring that I fell asleep. It was such a boring movie that I fell asleep. Yes. The pie was so tasty that I ate it all. It was such a tasty pie that I I ate it all. 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 It was such a tasty pie that I ate it all. Again. It was such a tasty pie that I ate it all. That I. That. I ate it all. I ate it all. I ate it all. Nice. <laughs> Now, on the TH, remember, you have to stick your tongue out. That. That. I don't want to hear dat. That. Eso no vale. That. It was such a tasty pie that I ate it all. It was such a tasty pie that I ate it all. It was such bad weather that we stayed home. The weather was so bad mm. that we stay at, stayed at home. Yeah, the weather was so bad that we stayed at home. Or it was so bad that yeah, we, it, we stayed at home. The weather, yeah. It was so bad that we stayed at home. Okay, good. Now, at home, try this one. It was such a long speech that everyone left. The speech was so long that everyone left. Do you agree, Mario? Yes, the speech was so long that everyone left. The speech was so long that everyone, everyone left. left. All right. Okay. Good job. Good job today, Mario. Thank you. Good job. We're practicing some very interesting structures here. These are important, and I know we're drilling the same stuff over and over, and it's clearly explained in your student guide, but it's very important to repeat, 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 and practice and make sure that you understand this clearly because it's very Very important grammar, okay? So thanks for joining me, Mario. Thank you for inviting me. And thank you. You're very welcome. And thank you so much for listening at home. I'll be back for more tomorrow at the same time. See you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.